Super thanks shout out go to at Michael Van Kurt 3576. Definitely appreciate you supporting each and every video. Then we have at T Williams 8514. Definitely appreciate the cool comment and the super thanks. Then we have at VDVCRC. Definitely appreciate the cool comment and the super thanks in the crash video. All the support means a lot to me. I definitely do appreciate it. Then we have at Corti73. Definitely appreciate the super thanks in the crash video. Definitely appreciate that, brother. Then we have at Michael Van Kurt3576. Support each and every video. Those that do support and can support, I really do appreciate it. It helps with all these videos. So now on to today's video. All right, welcome back. So today we're gonna test our X Max. After installing the ESC, got into a car accident and didn't have time to test this thing, make sure everything works. I haven't even powered it up. Threw batteries in it, charged up some batteries, put it in the RC. I've been back and forth through doctors. So um, figure today and do a little light bash, run this thing and make sure everything works properly. Uh, still got to get to the hobby store, get the roof slider. Other than that, we're going to rip it. Totally stock X Max with just an ESC upgrade. We did install the speed spur gear, and that's about it. Looked over the RC and made sure that we didn't have any defects. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing powered up. Brand new X Max. EC5 connectors. We'll see how this thing does. First power up. Hopefully everything's going the right direction and everything's working properly. Right, left, right, left. Let's try reverse. Reverse works. Let's make sure multi-function. Just an ESC change. Turn the TSMs down to zero, the multi-function. I'm going to turn it up just a quarter because that's usually where I like to run it. You could tell the gear sound. All that stuff's going to wear in. It is a little on the tight side. Brakes are working. Checking the suspension since I cranked up the shocks. Probably gonna have to turn up the punch. Haven't tuned the ESC. ESC's brand new out of the box. So however the Max 6 comes, we are going to make some corrections depending on this, this run, what it's gonna need. Definitely don't like the gear noise. Sounds a little tight. Picks up the one wheel, power slides, as you see. Picks up one wheel, monster truck. Picks up the one wheel both directions. Doesn't flip or doesn't roll, I should say. So that's pretty good. It is diffing out a little bit to the front. 
Might have to tighten up some of that diff fluid. Whenever you see trash and a trash can nearby, pick it up. Look at this. It's going backwards by itself. So we're going to have to recalibrate the remote. It could be sticking. I have noticed the new Traxxas remotes that, that these are real sensitive. See, forward is good. But look at reverse. You got a double tap for reverse. And they tend to hang up on the board in here. There's no dirt in the remote, but I've been noticing that a lot with the Traxxas controllers lately. This is why I like monster trucks. Suspension land pretty good. Didn't slap the chassis. Brakes are real good. Yeah, land's nice and good. Climbs the stairs, no problem. Yeah, nice and firm on the landings. We'll see how it jumps. Perfect. Oh. Is the steering servos, they're just not that good. The X Maxes last okay, but they do need an upgrade. Not the best handling RC, but it gets the job done. Has a lot of front push. Oh, on the lid, and that's why we want a roof slider. Crash and dent special now.
every one of my X Maxes has always had different gear noises. Except for my original one. That one probably sounded the best. Trying to see if it'll overheat with this speed gearing in here. Try to break in this spur a little bit before I adjust it. Park just put up all these overhangs. It looks like they're going to start adding for electric car charging is what I would assume. I'm sure some workers here have now got electric cars. But pretty much ready to run except for the ESC. And like I said, I could have done the first run with the stock ESC, but I was changing the battery ends anyway, and I didn't want to uh, clip them off the factory ESC. Because I'm probably going to either get rid of that ESC or upgrade one of my Traxxas models with an 8S version. My 6SRC into an 8S. Lifts the rear tire on braking. Suspension feeling really good. That's full brake. Hasn't overheated. Just want to give uh, the motor a feel. I don't know where the cutoff is. Motor's got some temp to it. Motor's definitely up there in temp. ESC doing well. Battery connections doing okay. There we go. That looks better. You can smell the new plastic burning off. New plastic heat smell. But wanted to get out, do some running of RC, considering I've been back and forth to doctors. I did get injured in that crash. Just a little bit of uh, muscle soreness. But that's to be expected, taking an impact like that. So. I haven't been uh, coming out and playing with RC or walking these big hills or any of that stuff 
to get to the tracks. So hopefully in a few days I can be back to normal. It's already been a week. Steering left, right, left, right. And the steering hasn't failed. Motor hasn't failed. We are probably gonna up the punch a little bit. Probably on three. Good power for this weight. It's not overheating. The Max 6 handles really good weight. And that's why I like to use it on the X Max. The Armas are a little heavier, so you just got to go to a bigger ESC. We're running on 8S Arma. But the X Max, at this weight, this Max 6 does really well. I do know people that have put max five combos into them but honestly you just don't need it you don't need that big coke can motor and you don't need a max five you can't get the x max any faster than the 50 60 miles an hour a ma uh, max six will do i've never really tried to gear up the x max four speed but with this suspension and tire combination I just don't need to go anything over 55, 60 miles an hour. Usually when you bash, 40 miles an hour is all you need. You just need more wheel speed for air control. And anything bigger. Max six, you just start blowing off tires. Then you gotta put those expensive Pro-Line tires on it. And then you're breaking control arms and bending shocks. And then you still lose some of your air control with a belted tire. So for me, this is the perfect starter setup for an X-Max. You don't need much more than this. Anytime you break something, you have the option of upgrading or just keeping the stock part, depending on how hard you run it. I run mine pretty hard, as you see. You know, I'm nailing the trigger everywhere I go, so I, I run it full trigger a lot of the times. And I just don't have parts, you know, parts failure on this thing. I'm hoping with these bigger bearings that are in the X-Max, that it'll, it'll handle the Besh session. I can see that the RC is starting to settle, the back is starting to drop down a little more, the springs are starting to compress, everything's starting to settle. It goes perfectly straight. No slop in the steering, which is awesome. No slop in the control arms. And that's the whole thing with a new X-Max is plastic will wear down. And that's why I never understood, you know, buying used RCs and let you know the history of it. This one is going to have a rough life like all of them, but definitely good to get out, run the X-Max and just wanted to bring you guys along for the ride let you guys know what i've been up to um since i haven't been posting videos because like i said had to get my other cars into shape i do have some parts showing up at the dealer for this wagon today um been doing a lot of repairs to the wagon i got the trunk apart right now changed all the speakers in it um these pillars right here, I went ahead and replaced both pillars because the headliner material was coming off of them. I did have these reupholstered. So just fixing some of the interior bits um, that, are, that are starting to fall apart. And overall ordered some of the plastics in the back that are been broken for a while. But there we go. I'm gonna finish up this video. We're gonna turn the X-Max off. We'll see if the button held. 
because I did glue the button. You can see the scratch I got right here, but the roof guard's gonna cover most of that anyway. Button's holding on strong, powered off, EC5 connectors, working good. But there we go. As you see, I wrap my batteries in microfibers so that they don't slide around and bang and I don't end up losing them. But for the most part, but there we go. First rip of the X-Max, first scratch of the X-Max, we're doing pretty good. Like, comment, subscribe, we'll catch you on the next video. Stay tuned, I'll put in some little clips of what I've been doing to the wagon. So today, we're ripping apart the whole trunk because we have to get these side panels off to get to the upper shock bolts because we're gonna replace the shocks today. I'm gonna put uh, some Monroe's in the back of this thing. We already replaced the front struts, so now we're gonna pull this stuff apart and uh, get to the shocks. So we got most of the trunk area apart, but long way to go. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely appreciate all you guys watching the videos and super thanking the videos. Catch you guys on the next video.